Brown going to join in this mystery, or is she going to uh, tap out on I'll this one? Take a little. I'll go get a new glass, and I'll drink like a little tiny bit of it. Okay. I'll at least try it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take a little sip. Yeah, I'll take a little sip. Okay. We'll do that, and then maybe I'll try to smash that cap back on it because I can't drink a whole half of that beer because I'll be drunk. Unless yeah. Ron wants to drink the whole half of Ron it. Ron could try. It depends on what the proof ends up being. I can't remember what it is. It's funny because I bought the beer because of the label, and um, I, so I bought it because of the label, and I don't even think I read the whole description on it, and I was like, because I read it today, and I was like pretty surprised. I saw it in one of the beer groups that I'm in, and I was like, I didn't, the person, I think they said it was good. I didn't ask them about it. I kind of wanted to, but then I didn't want anybody else to see it, because then I'd be like, yeah, because I bought this one, and I, I'm going to make it be my mystery beer for my friends, and, you know, then it would give it away if you guys are in the group. See, I don't look that closely at the, the group to see what everybody's doing, and Facebook, for all it's worth, has had a hell of a time lately figuring out what I do and don't like. So I've been extremely good at just being useless to social media's auto-tracking shit. Last weekend's events where I went down to Rheingeist thoroughly made it realize that I do like motorcycles again. Um, by the way, I got Oki and Bourbon on our last one. Was there oh, anything yes. that was added to that? Oki Bourbon? I got a little mm. bit of, like, a little dry coffee out of it. Yeah, I definitely got the coffee and like um, I got the cocoa, like the chocolate flavor. There we go. I'll give you that much of a sip. If you want more, you Ooh. can have more. What do we got here? Ron's. Ew. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Ooh. Oh, this smells really good. God, I hate that I don't. It's like mapley, maybe. Am I getting some like mapley? Not mapley. We've had something similar to this before. Ooh, that's tasty. It's got the right amount of the thing that I bought it. The reason, like the the flavor that I knew. Oh, what is that? Is it like See, a cherry? You, you can't taste it. That's the thing. But you, it's it's. I smelled it. It made German chocolate cake. It, yeah, it's like it, coconut. It it did. Yeah, the, that's it, coconut. It, that's what I'm getting. It did the thing to my nose. I was like, ooh, I could. The thing. I yeah. wanna, it, it's something I feel like I want to chew it. You know, that's very great. Thick. Like a dark chocolate, very, very dark, very like thick. a dark chocolate, coconutty kind of a thing. How close am I? The chocolate's right. I don't think the coconut is. Yeah, it really tastes like coconut. It does taste. Maybe like maybe the coconut a, is right. Like a lot of vanilla to it, maybe. But so this is Chemothesis by Jackie O's. It's a blend of Imperial Style aged for 19 months in bourbon barrels and conditioned on. Ancho chilies. Chili. Hmm. What's that say? Ancho, Ancho chili. I've been using. See, Kazubel, Mulata, and Pasadilla de Oxicana chilies. So, like about four different kinds of chilies, cocoa nibs, hickory nuts, cinnamon, and vanilla beans. So no, I yeah. The... Vanilla beans. Okay, so there is a vanilla. Right. I was gonna say that's like because oh, when, when you well hold Wait. on. Oh yeah, that's true. When you guys were saying the um, coconut, I was like tasting it. I'm like, I don't think coconut and chilies it would cook It does taste together. like coconut, though. So it's got the chilies all over it. It's a 12.8%. And it's by Jackie O's. And the thing that I learned of Jackie O's, I really liked it. I'm going to go to the site and read it, although I remember their thing because I really liked like their the way he did his things. Okay. So anyway... So while you're loading, like that first chili you mentioned, I have been using that like almost exclusively for like the last six months or so to make a really fucking good chicken tortilla soup. Hell yeah, that's a basically I've been ta I've got those chilies at found at Walmart, run them through a blender and run them through a blender with uh, some chicken stock, strain out the seeds and all the solids. And use that as the base nice. for the soup. Damn, why aren't you cooking for us? <laughs> um, oh, the, the 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 freaking stuff. What is it? Uh, I do that. Uh, you know, run f through the food processor. Food processor, a bunch of aromas, corn. Uh, the cool part about it is when you cut up avocado, and you throw that in the soup. It's fucking delicious. That would be good. Damn, man. Like, I feel like a like a rookie cook mm -hmm. now, listening to you. 
the, the, the cool part is, is the kid liked it like the first three times. She's like, now that's stupid. I don't like it. I'm like, well, fuck you. I'm still making it because I'm going to eat it all. Damn. When they get that cat back on there, we'll snap back on there. So anyway, Jackie O's. I like Jackie O's story. It says, as the story goes, 2003 to 2006, the owner, Andrew Arthur O's Strike, known as known by most as Art, went to Ohio University in Athens and was an undergraduate against, and again as a graduate student after teaching English overseas in South Korea. Art's entrepreneur, entrepreneurial career was born when he and his best friend Lenny Meyer decided to buy Bagel Street Deli in Athens, Ohio in 2003. So in 2005, Art purchased Ohulis. Shortly before his new venture, his mother, Jackie Oestrike, was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Oh, that's awesome. Jackie passed away in June of 2006, but not before her son let her know he had plans to change the name Ohulis to Jackie O's. In her honor, he, her reaction was a classic motherly reaction, a bar, and Art's reply, it's going to be so much more than a fucking bar, mom has been what continues to inspire and grow the business to this day. I, I really awesome, liked that. That is a fucking awesome story. I like that. Well, except for the part where she died. Right, but well, that was still, like... Still, <laughs> you know, doing, like, doing shit in, like, you know, mom's honor, mom's name, even after she's gone, it's like, that's fucking for mom. She's still there, you know, that sort of a thing. That's cool. Right, and it's really cool because I didn't realize there was more to it. So, like, in 2007, January 2007, the name of Ohuli is officially changed... To Jackie O's Brew Pub. The original brew pub became a pillar of Athens community for, by focusing on locally inspired and produ produced products. At Jackie O's inception, the decision was made to brew specific beer that would only be available in Athens, create barrel aging and sour programs, and commit to using locally sourced products whenever possible. The business not only focused on the local economy, but also state improvements as well, by becoming one of the first facilities in the state of Ohio to transfer a non-smoking establishment in order to increase the visibility of lung cancer research. Huh. In, in response to the loss of their mother, Art's siblings, Brian and Katie, set out to on a journey to raise awareness for longevity by traveling to, to, to Tibet on a quest to climb Mount Everest. On May 23, 2007, Brian and close friends and family, Justin Hewitt, Summit, summited Mount Everest, also known as Shamulungma in Mandarin. For more information, visit this site, climbforcancer.blogspot.com. So let's see. I've got a lot here. I am very impressed. I did not realize all that about Jackie. Yeah, I didn't realize it either. So a restaurant bar space. Fell on tough times in 2008, and Jackie has begun renting the space and renovating to create now the public house restaurant. So they got restaurant and brewery. Let's see. Athens ain't too far from us, is it? No, it's, we could go to that cool place. That's what near Columbus, isn't it? Mm, I'm thinking. Is it? I think so. That may have to be a field trip. I was thinking it was Cleveland. No, that was Akron. We went to Akron, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was thinking that was Athens for some reason. Sounds pretty close. I might have to be going to Cleveland very soon for a few days. Why is that? Or at least by the end of the year, if that's a goal. Was uh, doing some digging and found out that my work actually has a really baller discount on LASIK. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, it's over Columbus. Way. It, it, excuse me, it's not Columbus. It's pretty much southeastern Ohio. You're damn near in West Virginia. Okay, yeah, I was kind of thinking it was more... It's like a... Two and a half hour drive from here. That's not horrible. But yeah, um, I just have to go to Cleveland to get it done. Well, they were overachievers because Jackie O's five year business plan was completed in 18 months. Dang. Go them. Shows when you got a mission what can happen, you know? Right. So why do you have to go to Cleveland to get your eyes fixed? Because the company corporate offices are based out of Cleveland and everything has to be done at the Cleveland Clinic. Ah. That's but right. they like the the discount rates on it. I'm just like, oh, I was gonna fucking scrap that this year because money. But I'm like, well, shit, I could definitely afford that by like the end of the 23. I could definitely have the money together to get all that shit done, no problem. 
So you should try to argue that it's imperative for your job to get that done. Like I don't even have to argue. It's covered. So like my insurance covers a chunk of it, and the discounts pretty baller combined together. Because I was looking at it, uh, we're talking like close to two grand off. Well, I would try to argue it so that way. That's for both eyes. So like the rates are cheap. I'll explain it in more detail when we're not like on this thing because. Hi, I'm not going to talk too many boring things. Well, see, my thing is, I think you should, I, it would, this would be me. Like, I know I have to have this done for my job. It's obviously got to be done for my job. And because it's a business expense, now I get to pay for my stay there, my drive there, this, 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 and this, and then I would just write it off my taxes. Oh, that's totally a thing you can do with medical expenses anyway, I think. Maybe. I, I, I would try to figure out my the, my the cheapest way out. That's what I would do. That, this that, is fucking good, by the way. Yeah, that is some good shit. Very good. Like, for a pepper beer, because we've had shit with jalapeno it, in you, it. You don't taste it. There's no burn. I can taste it. It's. I'm not getting burned, because usually, like, any beer with pepper in it, uh, they, they usually taste like black pepper when you're it's drinking it. It's the kick. It. It's literally the kick, because that's what it did. Like, it gets my nose. It gets my nose, and it's it's almost like a spicy cinnamon. Like, a really, like, a, yes. a strong cinnamon versus, like, the peppers. It's I, For it's some reason, good. I was still getting that coconut flavor. I couldn't get that out of my head. But that Tasting being said... the chocolate and vanilla. But that being said, like, the freaking web and making that chicken tortilla soup with that, those peppers... This would go good with it. Oh, 100%. 100 percent. A hundred fucking percent. That's really good. Um, the first couple times I made that stuff, I took in, uh, corn tortillas and fried them up myself. I stopped doing that because the kid's like, ew, that's stupid. They're gross and soggy. I'm like, fuck you. They're delicious. You have no palate, you, gotta, you, you have to turn the heat up some more and let them sit in there for longer. See, see for her, like, talking to when I'm frying them, I just pan fried them. And I was just like, yeah, they were fried enough. But I didn't eat, the first couple I did actually burn. It's like, ah, I don't want to do that. I, I'm not a Mexican restaurant. I do not have anything... Need dedicated deep fryers to do that shit. That's fair. So, but that's me just being a fat kid. Uh, the other cool fat kid thing, like I said, I went down to Rheingeist over the weekend. We totally blew that one away. Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> you started talking about it, and then we just completely it was like, skipped over it. So, like, old Zach was like, oh, man, all week. He's like, you went to Rheingeist? That was the first place I ever went to. That's what started me on craft beer. I'm like, okay. Um... First things about Ryan, guys, if you're going to go there, good luck finding a fucking parking spot. I was like four blocks plus away before we actually found one, and it was some ghetto-tastic ass shit. Um, once you got to Ryan, guys, though, it was really cool. You had to go up four flights of stairs to like the fir- fourth floor where their actual tap room was. And in each corner of the tap room, as Ariana goes and sits down because she's giving up because my story sucks for her. But in each corner of the tap room, you had different stations to get beer they had a place to get food but uh they clearly cleared out a shit ton of tables because like the entire center of this place was full of motorcycles they had an event space upstairs that was full of it was like 115 120 custom bikes there on display that's really cool um, so how did they get them upstairs they had a freight elevator, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, gotcha. That would make but sense. But there was every... What was the oldest thing I saw there was this 1920s Henderson. Um, the I'd never heard of the Henderson before, but like looking at the mechanics of the bike were just mind-blowing, like how they did it. The, uh, like, we'll call it the chain on the bike, if you know anything about motorcycles, was basically like, take the leather belt that's currently around your waist, if you're wearing a leather belt... And use that to go from this drive sprocket to the back wheel. And the transmission was pulling a lever that made the belt tighter so it gripped the back wheel better. Oh, nice. That's literally how they did it. That's Um, interesting, but it also sounds very... Sketchy? um, Yes. That is how they did it. Um, What else? The uh, the bike itself, like, somebody had put a lot of... (laughs) Ariana's trying to make her seat more comfortable while she's relaxing. She's taking all the microphone box stuff off of it. But, like, the the bike looked like it had just rolled off a showroom floor. Really? Oh, like, they were... Cr- I got a picture of it I put up on our... Uh, on the, the orange Beer- bike? Not the orange bike. On the Misbehavior page. That thing, like, every single valve looked like it was made out of fresh... Like, all the cr- copper, chrome, all that. Fresh. Like, all the copper tubing was as fresh as it could be, like... 
you just bought it right brand new. Probably didn't look that good brand new in the 20s. That orange nice. bike you're talking about was a 1930s Indian. That was pretty. I, I want my next bike to be an Indian. It might not be, but it definitely very well could be. I'm not going to be making bike payments. I'm going to buy it cash, but I want an Indian. Talking about bikes there that I would love to own, um, I finally saw one in person. Um, there is a bike company out of Goshen, Indiana, which isn't super far from us, called Janus. Facebook's been advertising me Janus bikes for fucking Ooh, ever. Oh, I love the way those look. They have a totally interesting style. They're, they're so they're, square and flat and like, like they, thin. I, I've been like stalking their YouTube and all their shit for a while, but basically they designed them to look like 1920s, 1930s board racer bikes. They're really fucking cool looking. But they had their uh, their 250s and their 450s there because 450s as big as they get. Right. I was going to say they're small as fuck. But like I was there and I'm like, their 250s, they had like, you know, off-road dirt tires on those. But their 450, like that fucker was beautiful. And they're fucking expensive for a, a small bike as they are. Low performance. Well, they're, they're not high performance, but... You know, they're basically all hand-built in Indiana. Their freaking frames are, like, the part that blows my mind. The frames are made by Amish people. That's awesome. They're, they're, they literally have Amish craftsmen, like, bending their frames and all that crap. That's cool. Um, but their engines, in terms of that, the 250 engines are, like, more or less a bootleg Honda Re a Honda dirt bike engine, not a Honda Rebel, um, with a oil pump added because the dirt bike engines wouldn't have had it. So that means they're twerky as fuck. And the 450s are some, like, bootleg of an Italian engine. They don't make their own engines, but they put them in that frame, and they look beautiful. Hell, yeah. Um, Dude, we probably you could. could. Our poor Ariana is not feeling the best today. We do love her, though. Everybody who's watching this on YouTube, she's, like, right there, and Missy's helping her with her rigging. If you hear any pops on the uh, thing, that's just Ariana's mic being disconnected and rerouted. Um, but yeah, the uh, as far as uh, Rheingeist the brewery, um, I had uh, was it a Black and Beautiful, which was like twelve percent, or it might I don't remember what was that Rheingeist you brought that one time that was a mystery beer. Me or her? You, I think. Somebody brought a Rheingeist that wound up being a heavy dark one. Oh, that, that, okay. Yeah. But, but I had a... Uh, go ahead and talk to see if that... Uh, if I wasn't going to barf before, I am now. Right, yeah, there you go. Is it picked up? Yeah, picked up. So I had this, uh, it was called Black and Beautiful. It was like a 10.5% oatmeal stout. That was fucking delicious. Um, Francis, when she was there, had this like raspberry something or other. And as a raspberry ale, that was fucking delicious. Um... The last thing I tried when I was there, they had brewed a beer exclusive for the motorcycle thing. Are you talking about the Blackberry Mushu? Mush, there we mush, go. Mushu? 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 Probably. So that was fucking good. Yeah, that was, a, that was probably. But the, uh, they like had the this. The only Ryan Geist beer that I actually ever really liked, liked. But they, yeah. they had this, uh, they called it garage brewed because the whole like event was garage brewed, but they made one exclusive. It was just a lager. Pretty decent lager, but, you know, Bud Light-like lager that they were selling exclusively for that motorcycle event. That's um, interesting. They, it was, like, had to have been super small batch. It wasn't anything special, but it was good. Hell, yeah. Um, in terms of Rheingeist, the uh, menu, they did have Truth on there at the top of the menu and all their, like, staples that you see in distro, but it was like, I am staying as far away from that shit as I fucking can. It That's, was, like, my least liked... Ryan Geist, and I, I've never truly, I, I mean, any Ryan Geist I've ever had has always almost been like a um, an IPA, and they're just, Ryan Geist IPAs are horrible to me. I, not, I just wonder if it's like a thing that IPAs sell, because people are like, <laughs> IPA, okay, that's crap, beer, I can drink that, because they had a hell of a lot more. I had pictures, I think they had, God, like, close to 20 different beers on their menu. People just love IPAs, and then I kind of picture IPAs being like, I like the spicy is. shit. Like, oh man, no. I drank the quadruple IPA. I'm a man. I can drink this. No, I drank this. This is a fucking 
super double quadruple IPA, and, and they, it's like the comparison to, oh, I had this, and it was there, this spicy. There, there's their whole beer menu of what they had available, just the That's different big ass beer. You rarely see shit like that in the store. Like, I've, I've seen their ciders and had their ciders. Like, those that, are all right. times four? So what is that, like 30. 20? 24, 32. Eight, eight times four is 24. 32 beers ish. 30 beers because there's a couple slots not full. Ron. Math is not good skill. Ron sucks. But yeah, that you know, that's how many they had on tap there. You could try. I'm gonna do a fucking money deal with Ron. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> no, I swear it's all fucking honest. This is how you pay me this, and we're gonna do this, and then I'll do this. Yeah. That, so that was the garage brew. There was, a, you know. Exclusive, Gold but they had record. raspy C. That's what Francis had. That sounds alright. Wheat right. beer with raspberry and cherry. We've had that. What is it? Raspy. Raspy C. Oh yeah, we had a raspy cat before on here. Bloom. So that was the raspy cat. That's some heartbloom cider powder, white India pale ale, blizzy blast. We can't read what that is. Oh, it's one of their seltzers, I think. Okay. The so one. The one I had was all the way to the right. I think it went from. Nectarine, neurotin, sour ale, Nerino, fruited sour ale, mixed universe, peach dodo, ghost sour, raspy cat, night glow, ginger something, pineapple mango ginger beer with natural flavors, that would be good, hobby, easy hop ale, not too bad, gold record. Is a and Kolsch. then the garage brew, a 4.6, pretty lame, but it's just like probably a standard beer. Like Truth Bar, Chainmail, Pixel, Cold IPA, lame ass. One of the things, and I'm not going to name my employer on here, but that was lame, like they had a big sign hanging up in there, you know, like all the sponsors of the garage brew event. And right there in big, like probably, you know, four foot by five foot tall on their sign, was my employer's name and i'm going cool nobody fucking mentioned anywhere that they were sponsoring i'm like that have been a cool thing to know like they would have definitely got some of the people from my work if they'd have been like hey your company's sponsoring this down here you know what i really like so for one this crumb cake ale with coffee lactose and vanilla extract sounds really good steve is a black locker logger it's named steve literally the wowie colada that's Sparrow, Brown Porter, Export Stout Raven, Black is Beautiful, Barrel Aged. That's stout. what I had. That sounds good. Imperial Stout. So th these are some funny. So so the Geist Tea. The thing I like about Ryan Geist is that they have their hands in a little bit of everything. All different kinds of beers, sours. Um, they have a tea, like a hard tea, and they have their seltzers. Um, but this, Ohio cumulus salt. juice. Cumulus juice. C U M U L U S it's, it's, juice. Right, but uh, I like cumulus. cumulus. It's cu it's cumulus juice. Yeah. Cumulus. It's Cloud it's a cumulus. It's a hazy IPA, but I like the I like to say cumulus. I'm gonna cumulus juice. all over your face, bitch. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna cumulus. <laughs> That's like I, I, it's like if you're doing like you know uh, ki freaking role play. Weatherman like, porn. <laughs> no, that no, role play is like you know ancient Romans. I am Sir Cumulus. No, I. I, I shall not I, remove I my to toga and Cumulus on your face. Yes. I want it to be the News Center Seven weather report porn. Cumulus juice. I'm gonna Cumulus all over your face. Today on News Center Seven, we're having a strong attack of Cumulus clouds. <laughs> That's great. We, we and then like to very, we all over to be, eyes. We expect you to be very moist later because of the Cumulus clouds. Oh, that's great. I love it. The cumulus clouds. M moist conditions. Extra moist. moist. <laughs> there you go. Moist. I like it. So I think we are running about out of time. Since we are. Oh, so, so what do we rate that beer? Solid five. Six. I'm going with six. Give it a five. They go up to five. You can't Messy give it a six. six. I, I taste... It's, it's it's a peppery scent, peppery peppery notes, peppery I, 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 chocolate. Like I legitimately, thick. like I legitimately want to find one of those and make my tortilla soup and then drink it while I'm eating the damn soup. It was really fucking good. I got it purely because of the bottle. I was like, ooh, we're gonna get a shitty pepper beer. 
and it's either going to be good or bad. And I don't even think I read any of the other ingredients because I don't remember reading them. Jackie O's, you did good. You did damn good. I'm doing a 4.5 also. Uh, I probably, if I felt better, I would maybe give a 5. I think it, that could possibly have an effect on that. Well, well, we'll cap it, and you can try it when you're feeling better maybe tomorrow. It's kind of capped. Stuff it in your fridge and drink it, and you will love it. So, what have we learned today, kids? Not a fucking thing. <laughs> the Ariana rates her poops. There is, <laughs> however, an app. I forget. It's like the poop app, and you can like go and you like check in at certain bathrooms, certain places, and you can like rate your poop. I think we've talked about this. We before. probably have. I remember having that back in the day. I didn't use it much because it was kind of like I didn't have any friends on it, so it's like oh, it's like a social media. Deal. Oh yeah, like but I don't I don't know that you can search people like you can Facebook. So it it's like be... untapped, but instead of that, it's uncrapped. Uncrapped. I like it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but yes, it's pretty much like that. Well, if there's no uncrapped, we need to start that. Uncrapped. That's a good idea. Bathroom like public bathroom TM. rating system what'd you call it tm 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 oh, crap tm <laughs> that's great i've learned that i really like our new set setup i do i learned that i really want a fucking chair though i'm like right i'm too fat to stand this long which is probably why i got this fat but i think standing up was making me feel worse and more tired probably it's, uh, I, I feel, I don't know, I feel pretty good, but I, I think it's making me feel hot. I, I feel like I when feel, I sit down in my car to go home, I'm like, finally. I feel pretty good standing up. I've been working out lately, and I was like, my my ribs and my, every like, certain, like, areas have been hurting, and I'm like, why does that hurt? Is that my intestines hurting? And then, you know, in my head, I'm like, oh, no, I have cancer. And I'm like, no, I've been working out. So it's actually my muscles. We'll get over it. You're just out of shape. High five. Well, I don't think that's that I'm out of shape. It's just that, like... You're using things you haven't used in a while? Maybe kind of. But it's it's really weird because, like, I, I when I started doing yoga, like, the last time I was doing it, even though it makes me feel better... Things hurt until I get used to it, and then like I stopped doing it for like I don't know, almost like a couple. Well, I can't even say a couple months. I just stopped doing it for a little while, and then I got back into it, and I'm like, oh, everything hurts, even though I feel better. And then I'm adding like actual weights on top of that, so it's it's different. I've never done yoga on set days and done weights on set days, so like yeah. Hmm. So that is what we've learned this week, folks. Uh, we sincerely hope you like our new setup. Please let us know if you think the audio quality is better. Hi, Zach. I'm sure you will. It's definitely not cut off this time. I, I hope the audio quality will get better with what we do. I, I at some point, want to get us headphones, but it's like, you know, we, we have like a, a small area to work with, so I also... And I, a small budget. I would love to get headphones and a, just an all-in-one, so that way, like, we can run it. It's like under the table, and, we you know, it's like nothing's on the table. Our mics are right in our face, and then, you know, we, we can... tried that already, though. It was right. with computer-based shit, not with specific devices. Right, though. yeah, and it, and it was cheap $6 headphones that Ron oh. bought that he fucking hated and was pissed off about. I almost kind of, I was, I wonder, I don't think I have the setup to do like the, the in line, like the weird. You would have to get like the really fancy ones where these are transmitters and then those down there have the receivers plugged into each right, one. Right, yeah, I, I, there's there's a certain way we would have to set it up, but I, we might maybe have the stuff, but also I don't want to have like the $55 mics and then not use them for a while and save up and get something later or do something different later. Well, just picture like having to poop really bad, and you're like wearing the headphone, like you take you off run running. off. That is our poop yeah. cam, folks. Our our, our our shit storm sound. Basically, it like pulls you backwards as you fall. Like that, in, that'd be movie. great. So, shall we do our like not jingle jingle? Our not jingle jingle. Or what was that song you were singing earlier? That wasn't a song. That could be our outro music for the day. <laughs> one goes into one, and then you started with two <laughs> goes into two because I was plugging in the. The microphone cords into the each Three sound goes thing. Into pee, four and then, goes into poo. then Ariana got my made up song stuck in her head, so I basically got a song stuck in her head that didn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's great. Anyway, kids, we are on all your favorite podcast stations or whatever the fuck you want to call it. YouTube is now being broken up into three mini episodes a week. 
Please and like and subscribe and share and tell us what you think of us. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Check out our two lonely videos on TikTok. We'll get more on there. I'm like, a, we're only so much of people. We can only do so much. Yeah, we have to work like adults, boring ass man. adults too. Right. You know. So, ready? Dun 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 d